Hello, my name is David Lance, and it's very good to see you here on this uh, video cast. Um, I have been writing a newsletter that I call Conversations with the Culture since 2005. What I do once a month is I take a, a movie and then I combine uh, Bible scripture with it and uh, a little bit about what's going on in the culture at the time that I write it. And I've been publishing that as, a, as an e-newsletter, like I said, since 2005. And I've done probably in the neighborhood of 150 or so different uh, movies and television shows uh, since then uh, over, over the years that I've been doing this. And as I record this, it's uh, January of, of 2020. So I've been doing this now for approximately 15 years. Well, um, uh, about a, a few months ago in, in, in 2019, it got it into my head that I should try doing a podcast. Um, I'm an old uh, guy, as you can probably tell by looking at this video, but you know, you can teach an old dog new tricks. And, and so um, I thought that I would create this video to give you an inside look as to how I have gone about creating these various podcasts uh, so that if, uh, if you're a techie nerd, you can get some idea of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. If you're into uh, the scripture, maybe it helps you to get a little bit better feel of, of how to connect uh, the dots between God's ancient wisdom and, and a modern age. Um, and so um, I just thought I'd give it a shot and, and do that. Now, what I thought I would want to uh, do right now, I'm using a, a, a product called Zoom. This allows you to do various teaching and it allows you to share various things from your screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share um, the uh, uh, website for uh, my, uh, my, uh, my uh, actual uh, podcast. And at least I'm going to try to here. And uh, so uh, let me just type into the screen there if, if, I, if I may. And so this uh, takes you then to, to uh, my podcast, and, and there it is. And if I scroll down, you can see then the, the various episodes that I've created. Uh, I've created four so far, and today I'm going to be talking about how I created my podcast that I call uh, uh, At the Movies using the movie Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour won the um, uh, best actor for uh, Gary Oldman in the movie. It came out in late 2017. It's about the story of uh, the first uh, few months of Winston Churchill's tenure as the prime minister, dealing with how to get the uh, British soldiers out of the French uh, beach there at Dunkirk. And, and so I thought I would take a little bit of time to, to show you a, a little bit about how that's done. Now, uh, what I generally do when, when I create my podcast is I create, first of all, a, a PowerPoint slide. And so um, this is the PowerPoint slide that I do. Now, now what I uh, then uh, create is a, uh, an audio file. I, I save uh, the, the podcast as a video, which includes uh, the picture of me as well as the screenshots. But you, when you listen to it, you don't see the screenshots because I convert that to an MP3 audio file and then uh, just simply uh, go from there. And so uh, uh, what I uh, do in each episode then is I uh, take nine elements that I uh, include. So there's a welcome to the podcast, a brief description of, of what I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm going to then uh, introduce what I call a question for reflection. And uh, then uh, I talk a little bit about uh, the movie itself. Usually I have what's called a meme. That's where you have a picture plus a caption that kind of introduces a thought in terms of the character conversation. Then there's some background to the movie itself. And from there, I, I, I dig deeper into God's word to find something from scripture that I feel relates to the question for reflection and uh, using the movie scene to kind of introduce all of those things. And then I have a, a period of personal reflection where I talk about something from my life that I, that I hope that the listener will, will appreciate and get something out of and apply it to uh, the situation. A summation and conclusion, uh, uh, again, using a mean concept, concept, and then a discussion of how to get in contact with me, my, uh, visit my websites, and hopefully uh, get you, the, 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 the viewer and or the listener, 
to uh, decide to go ahead and subscribe to the various things that I am doing. Uh, I do all of this for free, but I do have some questions for you at the end of this conversation um, to engage you, the listener here, to see what you think about all of this. And so, uh, excuse me while I, I had a little bit of... There you can hear the, the podcast, but I'm not going to... Uh, go from that. Uh, so uh, with that as an introduction, let me go back to the, 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 uh, the video, or excuse me, the, uh, the PowerPoint and bring that back up and then uh, kind of walk through uh, the elements that are, are in the, um, the, uh, the uh, uh, podcast. And so uh, again, I use, uh, uh, in this case, The Darkest Hour, where I explore uh, what I'm going to do in the scripture. In this case, apply a study of the life of Jephthah from the, the uh, book of Judges. And then I find something that's in the news. Now, uh, a few months ago, back in September of 2019, uh, there was a big hullabaloo with regard to Brett Kavanaugh. Some more information had come out about accusations of sexual misconduct conduct when he was in college, and a variety of things that come out uh, about that. Um, and I talk in the, new, in, in the podcast about, from, at least from my perspective, um, there is what I'll refer to as a deep state that is trying to disparage not only Justice Kavanaugh, but also uh, uh, President Trump, who appointed Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. And you can find out more about what I had to say when you listen to the actual podcast. And then I have a, a question for reflection. And in this case, the question is, what happens when a treacherous deep uh, state uh, corrupts a nation? And so that's something for, for us all to think about. In the movie, uh, Darkest Hour, uh, there's a situation where Winston Churchill uh, is, is made the, the Prime Minister of England. However, uh, he uh, has a situation where Neville, Neville Chamberlain and the other members of the English government really don't like Chamberlain and, uh, uh, excuse me, don't re really don't like Churchill and want to get rid of him. And so there's a scene uh, where um, uh, the, the king comes to uh, meet with uh, uh, Churchill in his apartment, King George uh, VI, and talking about not only uh, Hitler, but also the, the, the war cabinet that is trying to undermine what Churchill is doing. And so there's a scene, uh, it's probably my favorite uh, one from the movie, where the king says to Churchill, um, Beat the bugger, beat the buggers. Uh, it's a very good uh, type of scene that capsulizes the tension and the drama that's going on in the movie. Now, from that, then I, I talk about uh, the movie background and so forth, which I won't um, uh, do here, but you can listen to that as I discuss it in the actual uh, podcast. And then move from there to uh, digging deeper into God's Word. And uh, I don't know how well you, the listener, might uh, be acquainted with the book of Judges, but there is a particular guy by the name of Jephthah who uh, shows up in the uh, 11th chapter of, of the book of Judges. And he's uh, an individual who evidently has a, a, a storied background. He's somebody that the, the rest of the Israelites really didn't like. Um, he's a ruffian, um, but he has a really good skill. He's really good at fighting people, and they, they need Jephthah to lead them against their pagan enemies. And so they come to Jephthah, and he says, you know, uh, you guys didn't like me. What, what's the, the, the deal here? And they said, well, uh, the fact that we don't like you is irrelevant. Uh, we know that you fight very well, and frankly, we need your fighting skills. I then uh, pull from a quote from Churchill where he, uh, the great man says, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. I find that to be a fascinating quote and hope that, that you do too. I then spend some time talking about a personal reflection that I feel relates to the situation. At one point in my uh, background, I was the state director of the Indiana Christian Coalition and had my own uh, deep state issues to, to deal with that, that you'll, you can learn about when you listen to the podcast. And then I share uh, this quote. Uh, it's from a, a, uh, an author named Taylor Caldwell from a, a poem uh, a piece written called A Pillar of Iron, in which uh, Caldwell writes, 
A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious, but it cannot survive treason from within. A traitor rots the soul of a nation. He works secretly and, and unknown in the night to undermine the pillars of the city. He infects the body politic so that it can no longer resist. And I found that to be a great application, not only for the story of Jephthah, but also for the story of Churchill, and frankly, for our day as well here in, in the year 2020. You know, the, the people of Great Britain put their differences aside and rallied against a common foe. And this is what we in America need to do as we face our darkest hour of internal moral decay. And so uh, I then uh, conclude my podcast by talking about how you can get in touch with me and uh, things of that nature to subscribe to uh, my podcast and also to encourage you, the listener, to uh, perhaps share uh, this information with anybody that's involved in youth ministry and or young adult uh, ministry and things of that nature. And so um, uh, I hope that you have found this discussion of how I create my podcasts of interest. Now, maybe you have absolutely no interest at all in the subject matter of what I'm talking about, but perhaps you're interested in how you take all this technology stuff and, and put it together and, and things of that nature. On my website at wisejargon.com, I have a series of, of blog uh, uh, topics. One of them is called The Journey, in which I have a series of videos where I talk about my uh, how I created my uh, uh, journey to learn how to use technology. So I call it my uh, LinkedIn uh, journey to a, uh, my high tech journey to a LinkedIn world in terms of how to use all this types of technology. And perhaps you have an application that you'd like to figure out and I'd encourage you to contact me. You can email me at dlance at wisejargon.com if you have an interest on learning how to do all of that. Also, I, I want to invite your uh, comments uh, on this particular video. Was it helpful for you to see how I create my podcast? Can you see how maybe you might be able to use it as an arrow in the quiver of your ministry uh, tools that you have? And, and would you uh, uh, would being able to actually see the video version of my podcasts be of interest to you? As I mentioned, I create videos out of this, hopefully a little bit more um, uh, professionally done than my off-the-cuff conversation with you today. Uh, but that's something that uh, is out there. And, I, and I'm toying with the idea of, do I make that available? And if I do, do I ask for a, a small donation to, to help uh, defray the, the time and effort that it takes to, to put these together? Well, uh, I want to thank you very much for, for watching this behind-the-scenes conversation on how I go about creating my podcast. And so um, uh, we'll see you, therefore, on, on the internet. And uh, thanks so much and God bless.